Hello there, back for November the 26th, 1987. Steve Harris on the front there. A um, couple of big posters, I remember them. I had the creator one up, no surprise there. Yeah, that was on my wall. That was still a good poster as well though, but um, I do remember having the creator one up. Sabbath. Crocus, a band I know absolutely nothing about, apart from, hasn't um, D. Snyder had a, a big feud with them over the years? Uh, so let's have, a, let's have a little look and see what was happening towards the end of 1987. Here's these girls again. It's remarkable how, how much coverage those two got. I understand from a video last time one of them died. Obviously, we don't know which one. They look identical. There's uh, Tom, looking like Tiffany. Anyone got the um, Celtic Frost box set ordered? Anyone excited about that? I have. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it. Overkill. What? Oh, it's it's about the uh, fuck you EP. Victory. Not a band I know anything about. Queens, right? <clears throat> On fire. Who's that? Is that Bill Ward? An Aussie. Megadeth single. Wake up dead. There's one I never, never heard of, or never heard anyway. River's Edge. Oh, it's a, it's a soundtrack. Uh, she's absolutely mental. Seen few people show that album. Blessed Death. Never heard it though. Never heard of him. He's it on Roadrunner, Whiplash. Second album. I, I prefer the first one. Twelve Wasted Years. God, that was a video I watched a million times. I mean, I, I say this every every video, but they're just they're just legends, aren't they? I mean, the the impact when one of these guys goes. I'll, I'll just be, and when the band don't exist anymore at all, it, it's just going to be, it's going to be so weird. It's going to be like the Queen dying. It's all we've ever known. There's uh, Celtic Frost and who are they with the creator? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
Who have we got here? Uh, I, I have no. Tom Gully? No idea who that is. Scott Gordon. That's the guy on the left who went to uh, Badlands, isn't it? Uh, let this page just a quick look. Uh, God, it's an early advert for a CD, isn't it? 87. I certainly didn't have a CD player in 87. Mammoth. But they just put me right off when I was younger and they came out. And actually, um, when I heard when I heard the album not that long ago, it's, it's actually not too bad. This is this guy that I just didn't know who it was. I still don't. Sabbath. Snoopy looks a bit different there, doesn't he? So this is um, this is them recording history of a time to come. What does that say on that box? Oh, history of a time to come album master. <laughs> Wonder where that's at now. Steve Grimmett, poor old Steve. He had no luck in the last half a dozen years of his life, did he? What a shame. I used to have that SOD t shirt there. What's this album that on about here? Is it? Oh, can't see the name of it anywhere. Oh, I forgot the name of it. And it's awesome. Steeler. Don't know anything about them. Or Crocus. Posters, Joey DeMaio, Don Dockin, Don Dockin's uh, failing now isn't he, what's this Holy Moses, yeah, I've never heard them either, I just, I just thought, I thought, I thought woman thrash, it can only be one, Where's, where's Don's wolf guitar? That's what I'm always interested in. Where are these, where are these guitars at these days? Some of them turn up, you know, on eBay and they get picked up for a lot less than you would ever think. Some of these guys have fallen on hard times over the years. Noise Hunter. Never, never heard of these, and never heard of Gamma International uh, either. Record label. Seen that one, Sean. 
LP is 3.99 each. What what you wouldn't give for to go and raid that spot at those prices these days, eh? Album of the month. Wow, wow. Never heard it. Right, what we got? Oh my god. Only a complete loser would own that. <laughs> Even if it is on Music for Nations. Exodus. I I only heard that album. Um, oh, I don't know. A year ago or something. I immediately went out and bought it. Oh, I loved it. Not wild, got to be honest, I'm not wild about that Sacred Reich album. They're not giving them ratings at this point. Too old. And there's a lot of black and white in these early issues. The label that begins where noise ends. So was this a Was this like a, a sub label? F I've never heard of it. I've never owned any of those albums. I suppose that's why. Mama's boys. Got a few of theirs. <laughs> Bad news. I've never owned any paradox either. Also on Paul Diano. Let's have a look at him. He looks like Derek Wibley off uh, some forty one. <laughs> oh dear. They actually came to work it and I didn't go and see it either. It was very much in the uh, period of Young family and waning interest in it all, to be honest. Is that no? Can't beat a bit of chrome molly, love them. I've not heard these out there. Merlin. This guy's just died, hasn't he?
Oh, there. Got a bit of a spread on this. I don't know any of this stuff. Oh, look at them. Look, look at this guy, especially with the... Uh, I don't know what that is on his shoulders and stuff. and oh yeah finishing off with the axe right there you go uh, that was november 26th 1987 thank you for watching and i shall see you next time